Hey there! Welcome to my video. I'm just going to be doing a get ready with me, doing a little bit of a normal makeup with the new Dose of Colors Friendcation palette, and just sort of talking about updates of my life. So if you have time to waste, then please do enjoy. I'm going to prime first, which I know I haven't been doing a whole lot because, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of dying to me, but I went through my makeup the other day and found the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, which used to be my favorite. This is my second bottle of it, so I figured, you know what? Why not? Let's go back in with an oldie. It's just really glowy. And then I got an Ulta catalog in the mail, and it came with little samples of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So I'm going to open one of these up. I'm going to try the shade Vanilla and see if that works for me, and hopefully there's... There's gotta be enough in here, there's, there's gotta be. Let's see what they got going on here. I've heard so many good things about this foundation. Ooh, I don't think this is my color. Ooh. Okay, just to whiten it out, I'm gonna use the YSL Touche Eclat foundation in the shade B10, which, can you like see the difference in shades? This is, this is not vanilla, I don't believe this. And I'm taking an It Cosmetics foundation brush to just sort of do this situation. So, I haven't really been uploading a whole lot recently, which I feel kind of bad about because um, I've been getting a ton of requests on certain videos, mostly Air Force videos, as, as I'm sure you're not surprised to hear, because that's kind of why I guarantee like 90% of the people who are here uh, are here for Air Force videos. <laughs> I know there's videos out there that people want me to film, I just haven't gotten around to it, so... I will make sure to do a couple of those today. That's why I'm doing normal makeup first. I'm doing normal makeup so that I can do a reaction video, which I will link because I'm gonna upload it before this one. But basically, things have been going pretty good for me lately. Um, it's starting to snow here in North Dakota, so that's a little bit of a bummer because I'm with like a summer baby. I just love the heat, I love the sun, and I'm sure most people do. But I don't know if it's the change in weather or if it's like a weird astrology thing. I've been having crazy dreams. And I guess it's not that abnormal for me. This is the Morphe sponge. But a lot of my dreams recently have had animals in them. Like two of my dreams recently, I was getting chased by a bear and then several bears. <laughs> and then in another dream, I was, I don't know if I was getting chased, but there were these weird demon doppelgangers, I guess is the right word, of the pets that I have. So my cat and dog were in my dream, but it wasn't my cat and dog, it was like their demon twins. And so I was scared of them and I was just, I remember waking up and being so confused because I don't know how you guys dream. I'm actually really curious to hear about this. Total tangent. Um, leave this in the comments below. I want to know, are you a lucid dreamer? Do you not dream at all? Can you like make your way through a dream consciously and decide what's gonna happen for me sometimes i get super realistic dreams and i wake up and i'm physically reacting to these dreams so in the one where the bear was chasing me i remember it got a hold of my foot at one point and i was flexing my foot super hard in the dream to keep its jaws from closing and i remember being like it's just a dream it's just a dream and i was able to wake up and when I woke up, my foot was flexing and my heart was beating. So I don't know if that's how you guys are, um, but it's it's kind of ridiculous. I usually do have really absurd dreams, but more recently I've been able to wake myself out of them. So I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe it's just that I'm more conscious about it, but it was weird. I think I'm just going to do a basic sort of cat eye today so just a nice little brown crease and maybe some shimmer on the lid so i'm taking the shade basic from this palette and a morphe m518 just to get the crease going as far as bad news goes you guys my car died i killed it i don't have good luck with cars when i first got to north dakota about a year and a half ago I waited for like three months before finally caving in to buy a car. Mind you, at this time I was still living on base, so I was kind of like, I don't know if I need one, it's kind of whatever. I finally got one, found it on Craigslist, it was a 2001 Subaru Outback, it was 
crusty, dusty, rusty, and I paid $1,600 cash for it. Just because I was like, you know what, I'm going to be out of here in no time, like I don't need a good car, it's fine, I'll just take what I can get and um, that's that. So this Subaru got me through a year. It lasted for a solid year into February, I want to say, or March. And then it broke down on the highway, probably because I don't know why, but when I took it to the auto shop they were like yeah it's gonna cost about twelve hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars to fix it so I was like okay so that's it's totaled at this point you know so I went out on pursuit of another vehicle now this time I kind of told myself you know what you might as well just get a better car and um that's what I did on Craigslist again I found a 2004 Toyota 4Runner which foreigners are my favorite kind of cars I had one when I was in high school well it was my grandparents but it was so super reliable it lasted so long I mean it was a 1997 and that thing is still kicking to this day nonetheless I saw this forerunner and the guy wanted like $6,200 or something for it but I was like you know what it's worth no more than $5,000 i will give you $5,000 that's it cash money here you go bada boom bada bing got the car I was determined to keep this car alive you guys I was determined <laughs> I got it cleaned all the time and I made sure to take the oil to get the oils changed and every time the lights came on I would go take it to the shop because I was determined to make this one last by the way I'm using the shade necessary so I was doing that I was doing really well taking it to the shop I got new tires for it, $800 there I had to do some new brake stuff whatever then recently I went in to get something fixed and I mentioned to the, to the mechanic, hey, some of my lights are popping on here and there, um, but I'm not sure why because the car doesn't seem to be having any problems. Now the light that was coming on was VSC track, something like that, which I guess by what he told me was incorrect. There was just some sort of sensor reading issue and then my car was fine. So I was like, cool. Still thinking my car was in great shape, nothing was wrong. And then the check engine light came on about two or so weeks ago. <laughs> and I, instead of taking it into the shop, kept telling myself, oh, the mechanic said that my sensors are not reading correctly and my car is fine, like I don't need to take it in. But as you can imagine, I'm sure, this was not the case, and there actually was something significantly wrong with the car. And I learned this the hard way. As I was driving one day, it started shaking, and like, doo -doo 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 -doo, as I came to a stop. So I was like, oh no! I started freaking out, but I got out of the car, I checked out what was under the hood, nothing seemed to be wrong from what I could tell, but I'm not, I know nothing about cars, you know? So I was like, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it just probably was a weird reaction to something that I did kept driving the car, kept driving the car, drove an hour away and on the drive back a few days later it did the same thing. It started shaking and then I noticed that there was tons of thick white smoke emitting from the exhaust. So I was like, no, I know what that means. Took it to the repair shop and the repair shop told me, um, wait before I keep going, I'm gonna apply a little bit of just a kiss, this little Champagne, oh, <coughs> champagne one. The mechanic told me your radiator cap was off and who knows if it was overheating. I don't know what the shape of your motor is in, if it's warped because it was overheating. Like all this stuff that I was like, okay, uh, so <laughs> what does that mean? You know, is that like a thousand dollars? I can put in a thousand dollars, it's fine, but you know, what's going on? And they ended up telling me, you know, you'd probably be better off. I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Fire Crystal Lightning Dust Trip Duo and just sort of do this. Um, he goes, you're probably better off, you know, buying a whole new motor. But even if you were to get a used motor, those things run about $3,000. <laughs> so at this point, I would, it, the car was practically totaled because I would be paying almost the amount I bought the car for so 
instead of paying three thousand dollars to buy a used motor and essentially putting my car back to the sort of old state that it was before um i just kind of was like you know what okay i'm just gonna sell the thing as junk so anyways long story short i don't have a car that's where i'm at for now as with the eyes i'm gonna add a winged liner Woo! okay i put on some liner and lashes as you can see and i just want to take a second where the heck did it go the eyeliner that i just used hello okay here it is it's the new joa brand from cvs i think it's by the brand kiss i did get this in an influencer box but it's actually kind of good um super black it dried down matte which is my favorite and it kind of is bomb i don't know how much it is but i can't imagine it's a lot especially if kiss made it and it's sold at the drugstore so it applied really really well just want to point that out in case you're looking for a nice affordable felt tip eyeliner pen <laughs> i'm also going to try their eyebrow pen which is from the same influencer box that i got Tati tried this and she said it was bomb so therefore it must be bomb also the lashes i'm using are from the drugstore the brand eyelore in case you're curious um this pencil is super tiny i tried it the other day and I was into it, so that one's probably a good item to pick up as well. Oh, my lashes are the style Marquise, I believe, or Baroque from Eiler. I think they're only like six or eight dollars, so they look very similar to other more expensive. They remind me a lot of Nubunsum Bella lashes. Not as wispy, of course, they're not real mink, but they do look really good. I've been filling my brows in a little bit more straight than usual, but uh, it's probably just because I haven't groomed them and I have no other option. I definitely need to pluck my eyebrows today. Do you guys dye your eyebrows? And if you do, do you use actual, do you, <laughs> um, jeez, do you use actual hair dye or is there like a brow tinting kind of situation you can do at home, mind you? I am doing this great thing called budgeting and um, I'm trying to find the balance between obsessively budgeting and like smartly budgeting. I, when looking at foods, will look at the prices as I always do, but if there's one thing that is significantly cheaper than the other, even if it's not really what I want, I'll still get that. I'm not sure if that is normal, like is that just me making good decisions or <laughs> is that kind of like obsessive? Let's talk about recent favorites, shall we? For TV shows, I 100% watched all of Bates Motel within the span of like a few weeks. So that was really great. I totally recommend that, especially if you like sort of mystery, horror, mm, I don't know what, this, what the genre would be, but it was really, really great, I thought. And then, um, as far as, like, YouTubers go, people that I've been watching on YouTube, I'm seeing the Jeffree Star liquid highlighter. I have been... <laughs> now, hear me out. Hear me out. I've actually been watching ASMR videos. Now, the only person I watch is Sass AMR. It ended up, like, hypnotizing me. Not really, obviously, but... I couldn't stop watching. I was so just relaxed while I watched and I enjoyed it and it was the weirdest thing. It was kind of like God being like, <laughs> I don't really get the tingles necessarily. I just enjoy hearing what the noises are and like what different foods, how they sound and she's always wearing a really nice lipstick so I like her lipstick in all the videos and her teeth are like perfect so maybe it's just the fact that I'm admiring that as well. Who knows? And then for final touch on the face, I'm just going to apply some blush. This is a Laura Geller blush in the shade Tropic Hues. It's kind of a blush topper, really, but um, I kind of prefer that because then it's all glowy on the face. Let's see, what else have I been loving this month? I 
I'm a fan of rollerball perfumes just because I like to try out different scents. And I think the ones that I have been wearing the most that I'm almost out of, I have them right next to me. So these are my top three. C, Aqua de Jujuwajuja, and Black Opium. And then Decadence and Bamboo are very, very heavy. So I save them for, I don't know, different, different days. Bamboo is like a really clean smelling scent to me. I'm gonna take a tiny little brush and then go back into the palette. And I'm gonna actually take this middle kind of raspberry shade, cranberry, I guess, and just sort of run it under. I'm gonna do some lip liner. Let's see here. I have the Kat Von D Lolita lip, 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 lip liner. Jeez. And I like this one a lot because it, uh, it stays. And then I think I'm gonna do a liquid lip today. I got a bunch of the Dose of Colors when they were 50% off on Ulta. I got like seven of them. So I don't know if I wanna do a nude. I got a bunch of nudes or a bold. I think I'll do nude because I'm gonna film a video after this and people have a problem with me wearing a lot of makeup. So just for the sake of not getting irrelevant comments, I'm gonna use the shade Truffle, which is just deeper and more of a sort of beigey color than my lips. All right, so that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're interested in following me on any of my social media platforms, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, mm, Twitch, then they will all be in the description below. Uh, I really appreciate all of you for checking in, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!